for all I know, right now, I could be engaged to be married. <laughs> Friday, y'all. When I tell y'all, let me sit y'all down. When I tell y'all, this morning has already been, it ain't been crazy like in a bad way, but it's just been a lot going on already. I didn't have to drop my car off. Pray to God that it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg and a foot to get my car fixed. Then I come back, my sink, the stopper is broke. So my sink, like the stopper has been stuck in my sink all week. So I finally called a maintenance guy. He came in and fixed that. Mexican guy and wanted to try to flirt. I didn't understand anything he say. For all I know, right now, I could be engaged to be married. Who knows? And he's supposed to be bringing me some tequila. So yeah, that's my morning. So I'm about to, I am working. Y'all know on Fridays I work. So I'm about to work, have me some iced coffee and try to reset my day because I'm all out of sorts because it's not my routine. Like this is not my routine but you know and i'm a very routine person so i'm about to start working finally uh eat my breakfast sandwich watch a little movie have my iced coffee and all right y'all i am headed out i am about to go to like this game night situation y'all when i tell y'all this outfit is so out of my comfort zone like but I don't feel like changing. So we here, I just have on this cropped tank from H&M. I have on my favorite jeans. Let's see if I can step back. I'm stepping all the way back. These are, this is too far back. These are my favorite jeans. I got these jeans from Walmart some years ago. I just saw them, picked them up. They was my size. Went to ring them up and they rang up for a dollar. Um, the person that's having this game night, it's her birthday, and she is a sneaker girl, so I went with my Jordan Bread Lowe's, which, yeah, so this is the look, I'm about to grab my glasses, and that's it, minimal makeup, I just throw on some studs, keeping it real, real lightweight and casual, but child. Jesus, help me with this top. So I am in the car. As you can see, I changed my shirt. I tied it up, put it in a knot just so we can have a crop effect to it. But yeah, I couldn't. Because I didn't want to be bothered with adjusting, pulling down, feeling like I'm just out like that. If I wear that, I would like to wear it with some high. If I wear that tank, I would like to have on some high waisted pants and maybe like a jacket over it just to kind of for my comfort zone that's just me but what i wanted to show y'all is so um the host it is her birthday i don't know what she drink and so here's a tip if you are going to someone's house or whatever um and you don't know what they drink or whatever like that and you don't know like what kind of wine. I do know that she has a bar. She's always posting about making drinks and something like that. So I'm assuming that she has a bar. So a tip is if you're buying something for, for a buying somebody wine or something like that, you don't really know what they drink, what their drink style is. It's okay to get a bottle of wine with a cute bottle of wine. You see that? That's cute. So she can just sit this on her bar and it'll still be cute, even if she don't open it. And if she don't open it, I mean, it's no loss to me because it wasn't like an expensive bottle of wine. Just a quick tip. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is a cloudy day. It's a slow start for me. Um, I don't have any plans till later, so right now I'm just chilling. I am watching a George Foreman movie. I already didn't piss me off because the teacher didn't pick him because his shoes was raggedy. And I'm about to read a little bit of this book, y'all. When I ordered this, I didn't. It is a nonfiction. I thought it was like a fiction, and I thought it would be based off of. Hold on. I 
I thought it would be based off of um, like different stories. I knew what it was about, but I just thought it would be like different stories of families migrating from the South into other Northern states, but it's given history and everything like that. It's an interesting read. So if you like history or something like that, yeah, it is thick though. So I'll probably um, pace myself with this, read it for a month, get something else, go back to it. I'm not gonna try to force myself to read it because it's a lot to take in. But yeah, that's what I got going on right now. Just chilling on this cloudy day. Glad it's not a thousand degrees. And yeah, got my coffee my morning biscuits and i'm about to wash this and chill out y'all this little half right here is really working my last good nerve every time i get in the shower or do anything like this is the first thing it just curl up you see everything else is fine this this piece right here really irks my nerve so i done got up took a shower washed my face did all the things um Waiting on my friend to wake up so that we can do some barbecuing and hanging out. Yeah, and I'm just chilling right now. I'm about to start sipping in a minute. And y'all, let me tell y'all how pissed off I am at Fashion Nova. Hold on, let me pause this. Shout out to all my people at the bus stop. If you follow my stories, then you know what that come from. But anyway, I ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova. Oh, I'm about to lose y'all. I ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova. It was supposed to be delivered to day checked the tracking and now they like it's a delay in my delivery but the part that's pissing me off is that they never sent anything saying like oh our apologies there's a delay because one fashion nova was supposed to be doing like this 24 hour delivery thing that's out and so and then two ups like they like it was a technical difficulty. What was the technical difficulty? Like, put it to one place, send it to another. This, they said, I told y'all, Marquita was in her retro braids, her micro braids, and this is, oh, y'all, I just got back in. Y'all know Taco Bell trying to get on that whole, uh, what is it, the, the Barrera Taco? So, I said, why not try it? So this is what it looked like. It's not giving uh, like a good Barrera taco, but this is what it's looking like. Uh, it looks like it's a crispy taco, kind of with cheese on it. And you get two sauces. You get this red sauce. It's tastes like a, like a taco barbecue sauce. And then you get this little sorry cheese sauce. So I'm gonna try it with the red sauce and see, I only got one. So we are gonna see. I had no meat in it. Like it's got cheese on the shell. I can tell you now I ain't a huge fan of that, but let's see. I'm gonna tell you what I don't like is the shell. I don't like this cheese, like this soft. It's like crispy on one side, soft on the other. I would prefer it be one thing all together. This sauce. This sauce tastes like they opened up some of the uh, taco packets and put it in a container with like some barbecue sauce or something. I mean... It's not like the Barrera or the, is that like the kind of the transmission fluid taco? Um, the meat is like shredded beef. The meat is good, tender. It tastes like it's like roast beef or something like that. So that's good. Um, 
I'll say for it to be a fast food restaurant, taco, like this ain't like no authentic Mexican. It's cool. But if I wanted a real Barrera taco, I would go to a Mexican restaurant that actually sells them and serves them. But I tried it, it's cool. <laughs> the street festival but my friend her knee is messed up she got a knee brace and everything so she didn't want to go and then my car I told you guys I'm having some work done on my car and I just don't trust it right now to drive into the city and so plans is canceled plus I didn't want to go to this by myself but like, I'm good with going places by myself but sometimes certain things like no so plans is canceled. So right now, as you can see, old school, when y'all ever see somebody vlog and iron their clothes, I am preparing for the work week. But I just wanted to come on, close this out, and thank you guys for watching another vlog, spending another weekend with me. Um, I didn't pick up the computer, my phone or camera that much this weekend but um yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with your girl and watching these vlogs again they are truly appreciated and i enjoy doing them and i will catch you guys in the next one y'all see i did my hair i catch you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow me on tiktok and instagram because this month I plan on doing like a, I think I'm going to challenge myself to do something every day for the month of September. Um, I just haven't decided what, but I do have it in my head that I want to get back to posting there daily. So, yeah. So, that's it. That's all. I will see you in the next one. Bye.